Hey, how's it going everybody? Well, as you can see, I'm back in Canada. But the good news is, spring is on its way. You know, it's going up to 10 degrees today. Things are going to be melting. This is awesome. And you know what else is awesome? I've got another toy to play with. I am playing with the Nikon D780. We're here at Mud Lake, shooting some photos, shooting some video, testing out this camera. So the Nikon D780 is Nikon's new full-frame DSLR, and it's gone for about $3,000 Canadian, um, so it's a little bit on the pricey side in my opinion. Uh, right now you can get the D750 for about $1,600 or $1,700, bucks, so uh, the 750 is a bit of an older camera, it is about four or five years old, but it is almost half the price of this guy. One of the nice things about this camera is it does shoot slow-mo 120 at 1080p and it does shoot 4k up to 60p which is nice it still has that flip out or what is it flip up screen the articulating screen it doesn't have a flip out rotating screen which it, but i guess with their buttons on the left hand side um they can't really do that flip out screen so you can't do the flip out screen over here See the goose? Hi goose. So yeah, this is the flip up, the articulating screen. Oh, I'm taking a bunch of pictures while I'm doing it. So yeah, I'm not a big fan of that screen, but you know, it works, right? And of course, you know, I'm gonna talk about it, the Nikon menu system. But the more I play with the Nikons, the more I get used to it. It's like anything, eh? you get used to it eventually. So one of the nice things about this camera is it has dual card slots. Now they're SD cards, UHS-2, so they're the faster cards, but I would have thought they would have put XQD or CFast, at least one of them should have been a CFast, but oh well, I can't complain, right? I don't even shoot Nikon. <laughs> But one thing I've, I've noticed about this camera is it has a lot of the same features as the Nikon Z6 mirrorless system. And you could pick up the Nikon Z6 with a 24 to 70 f4 lens for $100 more than you could pick up the Nikon D780 body only. What's really nice we got some red-winged blackbirds coming back in the area. Well, I have to say I'm pretty impressed with this camera. It's a little bit overpriced in my opinion, but still a pretty good camera. Now would I jump from the 750 to 780? I don't know. I think that's a question you're going to have to ask yourself. Now, if you like these videos 
and you want to see more from me, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and we'll see you in the next video. Until then, happy shooting. And enjoy the warm weather coming up.